right, so what we're going to talk about today is the um, Comfort Concealment Belt by Comfort Concealment. Um, best for jogging pants, sweatpants, um, you know, pajama pants, basketball shorts, you know, athletic wear, you know, you got girls with leggings, you know, you got the, you know, pretty much, pretty much anything. It doesn't really work the best with jeans, but it does work with jeans. I've had it for probably about two, two to three weeks now, I'd say, and, um, I like it, you know, pretty good, carry quite a, quite a bit of different, you know, guns, you're not just stuck with the little tiny guys, which I'll show you guys here, I'll bring you down a little bit, show you the belt, and, you know, what I got with it today, and, you know, what I usually rock with it, other guns that you can rock with it, and I am wearing sweatpants, you know, they don't have just a tiny little shoestring, drawstring, so it's not nothing really serious, I have carried without a belt with these before and for short periods of time it's fine but if you're carrying all day the uh the shoestring type drawstring cuts into your sides quite a bit and with this you don't feel that you almost forget that you're even carrying sometimes or at least i do um i'm a skinny guy you know i'm 5'8 120 pounds you know i'm pretty small um the sizing is definitely weird so if you're going to get one, I would 100% measure yourself. Don't go off of your pant size. Um, I got a 32-inch waist, barely 32-inch waist, but I got the medium. It's um, 31 inches to 37 inches, and it works perfectly fine for me. Even if you was probably 31 inches, you could still probably get away with getting a 31-inch one. And if you're wearing, you know, a little bit of, uh, I usually tuck my, my, I usually wear a beater underneath everything and I usually tuck that under the belt and then you know you got to lay up your boxers or your underwear or whatever um so it does help out a little bit you know different guns obviously you tighten it different but if I was to gain any more weight this would still fit me for quite a while um there's one downside I mean not really a downside I don't think it's really a, a make or break or anything obviously because I bought it and I'm making a review about it and saying relatively good things um so since I bought the 31 to 37 inch and I only uh, 32 inch waist, there's quite a bit of excess, which most of the time have, I have no problem with it, doesn't bother me whatsoever, but once in a while it will slip down. And it's not, it's not really too bad, it's not aggravating, it doesn't really mess with it or anything, but they do sell um, a little strap for it, extra, for like $2, which is, that's not bad. But in my opinion, it should be a part of the belt, and they could just charge, you know, another dollar or two for it, whatever. It was um, $37.95, I believe. Um, I got it on back order, so it did take a little while. But uh, it was about a month, I think, till I got it. And after shipping and handling, I think it was like $42 or something like that. So it wasn't bad at all. But, um... Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll bring you down and let you, let you see what I got in there, how I'm carrying. So, as you can see, I mean, printing a little bit, probably, but you can't really see. So this, I could definitely have this a little bit tighter. It's pretty loose right now. I could fit about two fingers in there, so it should be a little bit tighter, but... Well, for concealed carry, it's, ooh, you gotta be careful of that. That's why you gotta practice. Not bad. It does ride up a little bit sometimes. So, let's see. And I do have an extra mag on it as well. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to wear it to the side, but me personally. But this is what I was talking about. This excess comes out the back. It should have a strap sewn into this part. And you just put it on there and it should clip over the top, in my opinion. So we got the comfort concealment. It's got this little 
bungee um, um, elastic. There's actually two layers of it. So it's pretty strong and it's got like a, a rubber or maybe silicone comfort concealment all the way around until you get to the Velcro strap. It's very pliable, like you can bend it, it's comfortable. It's got a really, really comfortable um, fabric and there's a little bit of padding in there as well. But yeah, it's not bad at all, so let me show you how I put this on. Run through a couple different firearms with you as well. So depending on what I'm using it with, depends on how tight I do it. So for this, and this holster with the GX4, I just do it barely, barely skin tight. I always scoot this to the side. I feel like it gives me the, the best. So I'll take this. And you can just put it over this or bring your pants up and put it over everything. Like you can do this and then put it over your pants and everything as well which depending on what I'm wearing I do do that sometimes because it does tend to sag just a little bit but for the most part I just rock it like that and then here's my, my extra bag just goes on there just like that pull this up just a little bit and we're gonna we're gonna retie this just a bit give me one second I always bring it up till it's just either even with the belt or just a little bit above and then just snug it up a little bit. I've um, I cut up some pallets and stuff, you know, I wear this while I'm at work and everything every day and I mean, that's pretty secure. I hear a lot of people saying um, it slides up when they draw and as you can see it's not on this. This is not super tight. Like, I still have room in here all day. All day. And that's pulling up on my little mag pouch and the firearm itself. It's not tied super tight. It's not super tight to my skin. I can still breathe, move it up and down, you know. And it honestly conceals about just as good as a belt. I like to wear baggier clothes for the most part. That's just me. And, you know, it's not not very much printing. And we can go to, to different firearms as well. So you got a couple, couple other options for you. So we're going to leave the same mag thing on. Because I didn't bring an extra mag for each one. But they're pretty much all the same. So we're going to step it up. We got the Smith & Wesson equalizer with the 13 rounder in it. It actually has a 15 rounder for the backup mag. But same. Put that on there just like that. Boom. Pull this up over. Make sure it's just barely up over it. And then you're definitely going to need to do some adjusting to get it exactly where you want it to be. Depending on what gun you're, you're doing. But, uh, again, it's pretty, pretty secure, if you ask me. It doesn't pull it extremely tight to your body, but it's pretty much the same as a belt. The tighter you go, the better it is. And still, drawn, no problem. I mean, a little bit, but that happens even with the regular belt sometimes in my experience. Depending on the gun, you got, you know, the serrations, top and bottom. So the serrations do catch a little bit, so be aware of that. Um, if you put it over the pants like this, it definitely does help a little bit with the, the coming up. So it's still pretty much about the same. Oh. Pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty much the same all around. And that's not really 
much of a difference. This is a smaller gun for sure, but compared to the entire holster, that's not really much different. Then when you get to Big Boy, 1911, I got custom, you know, I custom did that, you know. Same with, with this, got the custom. Better it fits, eh, doesn't matter to me. If it works, it ain't stupid. So same, we're just gonna go just on the belt itself. And then obviously you can see what that little arm is for if you didn't already know. Pretty, that's pretty good. I have a full size five inch barrel 1911 with this and it's, you know. And I do have an extra mag pouch for that as well. I do carry it with this when I carry this around. But like, that's good. No problem. Like, it's, it's really nice. And I mean, yes, it's definitely going to wear, the, the Velcro is going to wear out a little bit. The elastic band is definitely going to, over time, degrade. But, for the most part, it's definitely feeling really good. And as you can see, the, the different guns, with the first one, the GX4, didn't really come up very much. The second one, the Smith & Wesson Equalizer, it came up a little bit, but that's mostly because of the front serrations. And this is pretty much smooth. It's got it back there, but for the most part, it's smooth. And then, got another option for you. If you like to, um, take that out. So, say you like to open carry, but again you're wearing sweatpants you know pajama pants basketball shorts you get it pretty tight pull the elastic just a little bit we have the the torres g3c and a outside the waistband holster It feels pretty pretty secure definitely feels better than it would if I only had it on the pants itself it feels like I'm wearing a regular belt like it feels really good I'll pull that up Should definitely tighten this a little bit now I got a gap but if you tighten this the silicone on there will keep these up for the most part so whether you want to open carry or whether you want any of these concealed carry options, you know, up to the big boy, full size, you know, like, you can do it with this, and it's relatively cheap, it's very small, it is machine washable, machine washable on cold, hang dry, and then, like, if you need to put this up, you can literally just roll it up, and it's small as hell like when it comes to you it is rolled up like this and it has a, a rubber band on it and literally you can stick that pretty much anywhere that is a small tiny package and then it is made in the USA I mean really I think it's very fair price for the product i was i was skeptical at first because i've seen a couple bad reviews you know some people saying um the velcro went out too too early or there was a lot of pokey spots or every time i draw it lifts up or it just rides up out of nowhere so i'm at work 10 hours a day usually nine to ten hours a day I wear this at work I'm up and down up and down up and down up and down 
I never have a problem with it riding up, never have a problem with, well, I never had to draw at work, but never had a problem with it riding up. I practice my draws quite often. Very rarely do I have it, you know, pull up, except with the Smith & Wesson with the really aggressive front serrations. Other than that, I have no problem with any other one. So yeah, so in conclusion, I think it is a very good buy. You know, I'll, I'll get it. It's definitely well worth it. It's comfortable, especially if you're a person that likes to wear sweatpants or um, basketball shorts a lot. Like me, I'm a sweatpants man. I like my basketball shorts as well. And when I'm wearing my jeans, I do wear a nice thick belt, a leather belt, but you can't wear a leather belt when you're wearing sweatpants or pajama pants. And if you do, you look funny. But this is really good. It conforms to your shape. It's soft. It gets the job done very well for the price, in my opinion. Most gun belts are well over $100. This is under $50, and you could use it with any. It's not like a regular belly band. You could use it with any clip holster, you know, anything that you can put on, like, even some. Uh, you could wear this on the outside if you wanted to. So, say I wanted to open carry this, I could put it through these loops. And I could just put it on the outside and I can open carry this as well if I wanted to. Me personally, I'm a concealed carry man, but if you want to, you can do that. You can wear this on the outside. You can put it through your belt loops even. I've done that before at least three times and it works relatively well. It's not the greatest. It's not as good as a, a actual belt in some instances, but it does work very well. But for a concealed carry option, it's definitely, it's really good. I would, I would buy another one again. For anybody that's looking for a, a cheap belt that likes to conceal carry, I'm 100% are recommending the cover and concealment. But uh, I'll say that that should probably wrap up the video. I don't want to keep you here too long. And yes, I am in my bathroom. But um, yeah, have a good one. Conceal carry, hollows over balls, 24-7, comfort concealment. Did a good job in my opinion.